Hi Cancer, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and welcome back my Cyber Angels and thank you very much for your likes and shares and your support and your faithful following and for the new people that have landed on this page welcome to this page and please subscribe and hit the button, like button and the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live as I go live three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday so I hope to see you tonight and uh, I do answer questions that are supported uh, by super chat or super sticker and I also give away free cards but would you like an extended reading then have a look below the video for information or uh, that little white circle in the top right hand corner of the screen okay and there is a new reading the crystal ball reading so that one you can find back on the website okay so um, I'm using the nine card spread this is the querent or your all over energy and Monday Wednesday th Friday Saturday and Sunday and the cards are rounded to clarify it and you can you clear the Lenormand will clarify these three cards or these three cards will clarify with the Lenormand card and on all corners then I've got the reading angel card and I've got Archangel Metatron the angel of white light and that will flow through your crown chakra and through all chakras and clear them and heal them okay so let's get started with your reading remember the romance readings are out now and I hope you will enjoy them as well the first card cancer that you have is the star the star is a beautiful card because it means that your wish or your goal is coming true you could also be meeting an Aquarian as the star represents Aquarius it's number 17 so that becomes an 8 and that means money might be coming to you and your that's the money house and the strength house the money house means also lottery inheritances uh, mortgages going through loans gifts of money uh, 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 promotions pay rises things like that okay a great start card to start off with on Monday you have the moon card and the moon card is a water card so that means uh, psychic abilities or you might be uh, highly sensitive your senses are um, on the alert especially with, since this we've just gone into the moon of Leo in the zodiac of Leo okay so we are in another phase we are now in Leo so happy birthday if you're a cross watcher and um, uh, we're going into Leo month Leo August um, on Saturday I think Sunday or Saturday um, as we are going into another so well we're in the zodiac sign but in the month of Leo and that is August at the end of the week there will be an ending as you've got number 18 and where there is an ending there is a new beginning but uh, you uh, there are things that you don't know because here you can see a mask around the moon that is to represent the dark side there are things that you don't know but a moon is a spotlight so you're in the spotlight so is the Sun and the star and you've got two so the something you are in the spotlight and like I said an Aquarian might have an eye on you or Pisces as the moon represents Pisces it is also um, uh, what do you call it uh, your yeah, your psychic abilities your intuition your emotions might be heightened at this moment so be careful when you're signing contracts make sure that you read the small print get more information and do more research that's the dark side of the moon but it could also be a person that's not being their true self if it isn't you now you can see the trees here they these trees represent the two pillars on the card of the moon in the traditional tarot is the black and white card that's the shadow and the light we can't do without the light of the day and the dark of night to get our rest 
So make sure that you also get enough rest so that your emotions won't be so raw or sensitive, especially around this time because we've just gone into an other zodiac sign and we're coming up to a full moon or a new moon in a couple of days. On Wednesday we have the King of Swords and you can see he's writing there. The King of Swords is Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius and you've got Aquarius here so that is highlighting Aquarius more prominently in this reading than anything else besides the Pisces. You might be seeking legal advice, you might be starting a new study, you might be starting to write a book, or you're, you might be signing contracts, okay. Um, perhaps you might be seeking advice, clarity, because you've, you've got two spotlights here. So you might be going to the library or seeking advice from a teacher, a father figure, or a mature man. He it knows the letter of the law and he also cuts straight through to the core to get to the truth. And he's a good researcher. He will research for you and give you the answer that you need. It might be because, like I said, you might be writing, uh, uh, signing a contract, so you might have to get the small print sorted out and be aware of any ifs or buts. There could be competition if you've been applying for a job or starting a new job because there is an ending, like I said. Okay, you might be feeling out of whack, out of balance because you've got number five. This is, some readers say, a disagreement card, but I leave that to one side really. I say it's the competition side. So you might be in a competition or there might be a com competitive energy around you. On At the weekend you have number three so you are creative and your boats are coming in. Like I said there might be more money coming in. Your wish is coming to fulfillment. Perhaps you wanted a promotion or a new job. Well it's here by the end of the week. Uh, remember, time is man-made, and um, we let's have a look. We've got three and five, so that could be in the eighth month, August, and we have eighteen, so it could even you've got an eight here as well. So you've got two cards adding up to an eight and an eight here, so that is double numbers, and you've got a nine here, so it could even edge into September. Now the first corner card that you have is number four, so it will be stable, it will be secure, it will bring you safety, because I think whatever your wish is, it will come true, and it will happen in divine time. You've also got the King of Cups, so that is Cancer. So you've got, um, here you are, you've got the King of Cups, so be nurturing. You might even seek advice from um, a cancer person, okay? If you are cancer, you could be the king of uh, hearts as well if you're not meeting a man, but you could be more business-like. You are crossing your T's and dotting your I's, making sure of the small print in contracts, and you are protecting yourself. You are standing your ground. This foundation is okay. Once you do that, you are taking care of yourself. Well done. The king does represent cancer, but don't forget Pisces or Scorpio. You could be meeting one of them. The house means that you might be isolating yourself because you feel safe and secure at home. So get out of your comfort zone, okay? Dare to uh, to express your feelings. Dare, because we've got the moon card, uh, moon card and star card here. So it's a very uh, highly um, sensitive time. Um, the house means that you might be buying a house. The house also means security um, and feeling safe and that you're isolating yourself, don't isolate yourself and 
definitely don't burn the candle at both ends. Listen to your intuition. Come out of your comfort zone, but take care. And I think you are doing that because you've got the king. You have invested wisely because you can. You've taken care. Your course, your boat is coming in. You're mov moving on from a uh, three, two, a four. Well done. Now, like I said, um, you have taken care, but you are in the spotlight. People are watching what you are doing, so they are also aware of you. That you have got your head on your shoulders okay that you are steady and secure in what you do and you love to do what you do that is passion as cancer stands for love but passion nurturing and caring sensuality and sexuality okay this could be a blonde man that you will be seeking okay a blonde man you might be meeting okay now the second corner this is more of a work relationship uh, work and relationship or your own business um, reading than anything else you're not scared of competition because you're taking sh uh, care l like the king of uh, cups does and the king of swords you are getting all the information before you sign documents you want to have a proper uh, a secure house uh, um, that's what the house means secure investment you've got the lilies that means luck in business but it also means again the same as the king and here you've got the king of spades and that is the same king the king of uh, swords so that's quite prominent that it comes in twice as well and again three and three uh, so three three watch out for numbers three three that's an angel number you have clarity that you get clarity and do it by the letter of the law no fooling about you don't want any shady business okay you're not scared of the competition but you want clarity and you want honestly and fairness okay the competition must be fair but somehow or rather you're the star and your boat is coming in wow you might even get a messenger or the or a visitor rather but you will get the message you will get news you might get a visitor or you might be going to visit somebody else and this could be the Aquarius or the Gemini um, as the, and they are the prominent figures here um, and or uh, the king of cups and Pisces so you could be getting a visitor from either one of those and you have the six of cups somebody could be coming back from the past okay or you might get an invitation from somebody from the past a new beginning number one okay new beginning like I said you might be signing contract so that is a new beginning as well your wish is coming to a fruition so that is also a new beginning when your wish or goal comes true now you could be number one in the competition Woo. okay lovely the last card we have is the six of swords you are six of spades you are moving away from rough waters and going into quieter waters but the tower in the Lenormand means ambition you are ambitious but don't forget the people around you make time for friends and family because when you reach the top it can be very lonesome okay now you've got number 19 that means a 10 again an ending and a new beginning now I also keep in mind the tower of the tarot unexpected changes well um, I will apply that in this to uh, when I see the tower in the liniment I do keep that in the back of my mind if you are the one that couldn't make a decision then um, the divine has given you this new start so take this new start as an adventure and don't be scared of it 
I think it's more in this in this trend, in this reading, that you are ambitious and you're working towards your goal. And you will get there. Now we've got another four and we've got the angel of strength. You have stood the ups and downs of your path and we learn something whilst we are walking our path okay and you have kept it together and you are strong okay um the six of cups yes you have left the path behind somebody might be coming back but it is up to you whether you want them back or not because you have moved on look at it you are moving away from the competition you are wait moving away from the uh, busy busyness and here again you've got a six the six of swords moving away as well you might be immigrating you're crossing you could be crossing water you could be going on holiday or moving home by this time you read uh, hear this reading you might have already moved home and is a new beginning now this is my favorite card in the metatron deck and you've got the robin the holy bird this is the angels showing you that they are there and you must know the story of the holy bird that's the an ordinary bird that landed on the shoulder of jesus and a a drop of blood landed on his chest and then from that day onwards he was known as the holy bird the robin you've got number 50 so that's five five again five five double numbers you've got six six uh, as i see and you definitely have um um four four okay you also had three three so you're moving up from three four uh five six so you are coming up very quickly moving up very quickly and forward from spirit with love look at the feather if you are seeing feathers or pennies then that is the angels showing that you are that they are there and they are saying you are back into balance don't worry we have your back you um, definitely have moved rapidly upwards and forwards and you've been secure you've come out of your comfort home you might be in a new house and you feel be feeling safe and you're making it the way you want to because your plans are coming to fruition you have taken the time out to be secure work legally get all the information and you're on your way to stardom whoopee because you are in some somebody has an eye on you as you are in the spotlight so enjoy it my darling cancer enjoy the spotlight um just be yourself don't get big uh uh how do you call it big headed saying "Ooh, i'm the star just enjoy it go with the flow and don't burn the candle at both sides take your rest okay listen to your intuition okay so if you're tired we all need to have our rest and this is really a strong message for you take your rest you might want to go on a break okay if you can't if you haven't got the time to go on a holiday or for ever what reason then take a weekend off i love you very much and take care and i hope to see you in the life and please like and share stay blessed and safe ciao ciao Thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao